Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're looking at the brand new pack, M Icons. M Icons is a collection of pre animated icons built for Final Cut Pro, and you can do a lot of really fun things with them. You can even have Pac Man come <laughs> eat you! Once again, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're looking at the brand new plugin, M Icons. M Icons comes packed with a wide variety of different icons, including achievements, backgrounds, communication, data and security, devices, ecology, finances, gaming, graphs and charts, medicine, planning, science, shopping, tools, traveling, and weather. Like I said, there is a ton to unpack here. So let's just scroll back up to locate M icons. Of course, you will go into your titles after you have installed M icons via M installer and it will be located in M icons. To apply any of these icons, use it just like any other title. You can pick it up by clicking and dragging onto your timeline. And then you can see there is a pre-animated thing happening with each and every one of these. You have your on-screen controls for position, scale, and rotation. And then we can go over into the inspector and we can see some of our parameters. In this case, this is badge number one. We have animations in and out. We can make changes to our content position, scale, and rotation in the inspector if we would like. We have an outline option, so we can have that outlined or not outlined. If you want the width of your outline to change, you can make adjustments here, along with your outline color and opacity. And then as we come down just a bit more, you can see we have our fill, color shading, fill opacity, and then each of your different colors. So really simple, really easy tool here. Let's push down and let's add another one. Then we get into our background. Let's grab our circle now. We're gonna click it and press Q and that's going to drop it right into our timeline. And you can see here that our circle animates in and then we have this uh, somewhat like a progress wheel, progress bar happening here. So again, on-screen controls for position, scale, and rotation. Then over in our inspector, we have animations in and out, all of our contents, position, scale, rotation options, our outline color, so we can turn that on and off if we would like, and then our opacity and width, and then our outline color two, you know, this way so you can make changes if you want to be on brand, and then our fill, so if we wanted to have that transparent and then have something beneath that, we could do that as well. Now, obviously, backgrounds are great because what we're trying to do is put some information inside of this circle here. So why don't we work with a couple of our icons? Let's come down to our data and security option, and we're going to use this virus shield. Let's bring it in on top of our circle, and we can just scale that down just a bit. And now it's as if you're implying to your viewer that we are confirmed, we have got approved virus shield. It's all animating in and out really nicely together. Sweet. Now let's take this a little bit further. In our communication here, why don't we just grab our text? So with our text title that we're using out of our communication option, again, we have our on-screen controls. I'm gonna just push this over here and drag it up just a bit. And then over in our inspector, you can see all of our animation options, but we're gonna change this text to say stable connection. Why don't we change that color to black just so we can see it a little bit better. Let's push that over. And then we're gonna grab our virus and our circle And we're just gonna bring those over. And there you go, we have now just successfully used 
all of those together to create something really quick and really easy to communicate to the viewers that we do indeed have a stable connection. And that's about it. Like I said, this pack of icons comes with so many different options. They're really all a lot of fun to play with, and we can't wait to see what you do with them. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.